So guys, you want to head over to this screen. Now to get to this screen, you want to turn off your computer or your laptop from the power button on your case. You want to turn it off and on three times. Now once you turn off your laptop or your computer, then you turn it back on again. Once you see the Windows loading screen, then you want to turn it off again. And then you want to repeat this three times. Turn it off, turn it back on. Once you see the Windows loading screen, turn it off again and then turn it back on. Do that three times and then it will bring you to here. Now once you're on here, you want to click on Troubleshoot and then you want to click on Advanced Options. Now we have a bunch of things that we can do. So for the first method, you could try doing a system restore. You want to click on that. And then if you have a restore point, you can click on next and then you can restore your computer to the latest restore point that you have enabled. If you do not have a system restore, that's fine. We're going to click on cancel. Now you want to click on troubleshoot again and then click on advanced options. Now for the second method, you want to click on see more recovery options and you want to click on system image recovery. But this will only work if you already have a backup image that's been made. If you don't have that, that's fine. We're going to go back and you want to click on advanced options again. And now you might have an option that's called go back to a previous build of Windows. You can also try the option if you want to. I don't have it myself, but you might have the option that's called go back to a previous build. That might fix your problem. If you do not have the option or if you do not want to do that option, you can click on start to repair. It's going to diagnose your PC, see if this works for you. It has now diagnosed my PC and it has not fixed the problem for me. I don't know, it might fix the problem for you. If it doesn't, then it's fine. Now we're going to click on advanced options. And now you're going to click on troubleshoot. And then you'll click on reset this PC. You can choose to either keep your personal files or you can remove everything. Select one of these options and then it's going to reset your PC and then this should fix your problem. 